I'm just finished work heading to the bike shop picking the track bike for tomorrow's race. As I said, tomorrow's national champs. Big day. Low expectations to be honest for it. We'll see how, how we get on. I'm gonna pick up the track bike from the shop and then head home. Go out training for an hour. Get that pre-race spin in. Open up the legs a bit and hopefully they feel good. After the run the other day, they're feeling really bad, so I don't know how they're going to feel today. Normally though, after running, they feel pretty good on the bike. Which, I know sounds unusual, but that's kind of how I tend to feel. Hey Odie, how are you? Not too bad. Here to pick up a track bike. Yeah. No bother. Okay, bike has been collected, as you can see. Um, I came straight from work, so I have to walk the bike home, breaking my track bikes, you know. Um, but we put the cycle at home, but I have to go down the hill to get home. And on a track bike, that is not very ideal, as the tubs are on it, so I don't want to puncture before tomorrow because then I'll be left with, you know, no wheels. So. Let's just carry the thing home. Okay guys, just out my my spin now. So it's a pre-race spin, kind of open up the legs. So, so what does that mean? Basically means that I'll be doing a couple of efforts. But for the most part, like it's just spin the legs out. Um, so yeah, kind of keeping cadence fairly high, low gear, and then you know, a few sprints, um, some hard sprints, and then some under gear sprints, spinning out, and then one kind of longer effort as well thrown in there. That's pretty much it, like it's gonna be over an hour, so no, it's not long. And it's nice downhill on the way home as well. Hey, not gonna lie, the legs are not feeling good. I feel okay-ish when I'm doing the efforts, but like overall, just feel like bleh. So, yeah, it's not good. It's not good, but look, what can you do? You just gotta get on with things and hope that I feel better tomorrow. So, all set, ready to go for National Champs tomorrow. Bike is ready to go. And, yeah, let's just, let's just smash it. So it is Saturday, it is National Day. I'm just making my way to Nationals right now. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm running a bit later than I wanted to. But look, it's just gonna cut into my warm up time more than anything, like I'm not gonna be late. Um, today's a sprint for me. So yeah, important thing is just gotta go qualifying time so you, Kind of go up against something a bit easier, and that's uh, that's the plan. Try and go as far as you can. Then. I give Billy Cosby the advantage at the moment of about five meters. Right, national champs, rubbish time. Uh, didn't qualify for the sprint, so look, that's that. Let's bring everything down, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, and have to take everything back home for a few seconds worth of uh, racing. Uh, like I knew it was going to be gone shit, but disappointing that uh, it was as bad as it was. So looks a nice day anyway. So I think what I might do is leave here early rather than stick around and watch. So I'll just make my way back to the car and um, not going to stick around for the final little sprint. And um, sorry, pretty weird angle, but I'm um, currently hands are pretty full. And um, I 
the moment so um, yeah just gonna head back to the car and head home grab some lunch and watch the rugby well the disappointing day continues result earlier quite disappointing for myself then Ireland went and uh, and I, I think the only word to put is uh, to say that they got absolutely slaughtered against England in the rugby that's not good news for our kind of World Cup hopes looking at that game speaking of the rugby in a couple of weeks time I'll be starting a new podcast series one of the podcasts will be on the Irish rugby team if that's kind of something that you were interested in if you're interested in rugby or just sport in general and um, the series itself will revolve around sports um, and it's going to be kind of covering uh, multiple sports so it's not really focused on any one thing so you know you can kind of dip in and out of it depending on what kind of sports you're into which is good and let you guys know um, when that's going to be coming out and when that's going to be available. For now though I think I'm going to call it a day. Um, it's a bit early but um, you know it's kind of it's been a long day so I'll just get the track bike ready for for racing tomorrow so tomorrow i'm doing the scratch race and that is it i've got the kilo tt and the madison as well tomorrow i won't be doing them but i'll head down and try to get some footage and all that and hopefully i can pass the camera off to someone to get some footage of the scratch race as well so i suppose the next time you'll see me it'll be tomorrow and we are back Sunday, second day of national champs. I am just obviously making my way to the track. And ready for the midway. Right, so just getting a warm up in. Women's scratch race is just about to start. And then the men's scratch race. It's be like less than 10 minutes long, I'd say. Then two laps, so. And yeah, it should be, should be very fast. Anyway, I'm gonna go finish getting ready. Oh, the screen's on now. Yeah, we're live here. We're live. We're live here with Sean from the. And the lights go out and away they go. Halfway around, um, and it was lapped, so uh, yeah, settle and pull out. Fast pace going around. Uh, the there were, you know, top class athletes, so there was no one was keeping up. So yeah, halfway through, kind of pulled out. Um, yeah, you feel the lack of fitness when you haven't raced in seven months. But at least you kind of know where you where you have to get to again. Which is good, so for a strong few months now to kind of get back into shape for the start of the next season. And hopefully this time next year we'll be, uh, be up, where they're up there with the rest. Just here watching the women's Mazen race. See, a bit of misfortune there for one of the riders. Um, this is the Lee group. Lee group coming around now uh, to take a sprint. 
for some points. So anyone who doesn't understand what the Madison is, basically, you've got, it's like a tag team. So you've got two riders from each team on the track and one rider is in the race and one rider is effectively out of the race, if that makes sense. So the rider is out of the race is riding so at the top of the track and then the other rider is low racing. So when the, the rider in the race comes around and meets the rider who is not in the race, um, they do a hand swing and essentially throw their partner into the race and then they can rest up for a lap or so until um, the rider comes back around and throw them back into the race. Right, we've got the men's Madison on now. Um, some fantastic racing, but like, you do have some of the best riders, both in the country and on the international stage riding the Madison here today. Uh, sitting from behind now. Um, you know, some of these guys are you know, winning medals at European and World Worlds. Um, so, you know, that, they'll have eyes on the, the Olympics for next year. over and done with and the weekend over and done with um, overall yeah it was it was disappointing um, you know obviously anytime you go into a race you don't want to be um, you don't want to be performing badly um, obviously I came into this race with very little training very little racing so you know I wasn't fish certainly not fit enough for this level of racing anyway and I suppose like I can always ask myself oh you know if I was fitter would have done better but look it's one of those things you kind of just got to take it as it comes or I wasn't expected to do anything in these races but at the same time yeah it's always yeah I suppose it catches you down somewhat if you come out of a race and you haven't done well in any way so um, but look, it's onwards and upwards. I got photos and I got some videos of the races today. So I'll put some of the videos in this vlog. Um, you know, you'll probably have already seen them by where I put them in. Um, but the photos will be up online. I will, yeah, I, I'll like share a link down below to, to, to where you can see the photos. That's it from me. I'll catch you guys in the next vlog.